All right, what's up, guys? So this is studio vlog number three, I think. I think so, right? Yeah, sure. Studio vlog number three. I don't know how to start this off, really, except my toys are coming tomorrow. So I'm really excited about that. And I wanted to kind of film the process of me receiving my first vinyl toy order. I have no idea what to expect. They're coming from China. We're on a boat for almost a month. Made it through customs, thankfully. And now they're going to be shipped here, I guess, by a truck. There's 15 crates or something like that of just toys. So I don't know if they're going to be in giant wooden crates. I have no idea what these look like when they come in. So <laughs> I'm going to show that whole process. I'm super excited to just crack them open, you know, and see what's inside. It's been a crazy journey so far. A lot of you have been following me on Instagram, my other social media for a long time, and people on YouTube. Super thankful, wouldn't have been impossible without the support from all you guys, so thanks on that. Really, really appreciate that. Yeah, so some other things have been going on. I've, I've had a lot of paintings and stuff that I, I recently sold on Instagram. I've been kind of dealing with some personal stuff, and that's kind of why I haven't been making a lot more vlog style videos, so that I just don't have the space or the time anymore, unfortunately. I've been trying, but... It's really hard to work in this space. It's always a mess because I work in here and also live in this little tiny room. You can see around. Yeah, so it's a huge disaster right now and I'm working on a bunch of stuff at, at once, but that's kind of why I haven't been working on a lot of larger scale paintings and stuff. I don't have the space to do it anymore. But I'm trying to find some space. So hopefully with the new year, I'll be able to find a space to work in and things will kind of level out. It's just been a struggle of not having any work coming in and, and all that. So thanks again, everyone who bought a piece on Instagram. Super amazing. Love you guys. It's been insane, the amount of support and how many people have come and you know sort of checked in. Really appreciate all that. So I'm gonna be doing all the toy stuff tomorrow. So while the toys come in, I'll film that. Um, yeah, I'll film that and then I'll film some other stuff I'm, I got going on. I got a last minute invite to do some stuff with Artplug. Well, I asked them to be a part of an event they have going on. Just so some local people that always follow my stuff, but you know, they don't really order online. They like to grab stuff in person, um, ha have a chance to get some toys. So all Kickstarter orders will be shipped out first. Don't worry. So all Kickstarter orders are shipped out first. All pre-orders as well, and then whatever's left over is gonna go to this event with a few colors. I'm not sure how many are gonna move or if any are gonna move. Um, I'm pretty much out of work to sell, so that's rare, and I'm super grateful. Thank you guys so much. Uh, anything that's left over after I pay off a bunch of the, the bills that are kind of threatening my existence, I'm gonna be making a bunch of new stuff. I'm gonna try to at least. Smaller stuff on paper, maybe some small wood panels. I can't really do large scale stuff right now, so no skateboards for a little while. They're all sold except one, but there's someone interested in buying that one. So I'm gonna wait on that. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for right now. I'll check back in a little bit. Okay, so I got six more boxes in out of the three, sorry. So I got three boxes yesterday of toys, started packing up all these Kickstarter orders with what I actually had. And then I got six more of them today. And I'm supposed to get another six, hopefully tomorrow or later today. UPS is a mess right now, so. Yeah, pretty wild. So I'm going through them now, starting to process stuff. It's been an absolute insane couple of weeks and I haven't been able to really upload videos. Also the 25 days of vinyl toys and designer toys series might have to come to an end because I have no time to film any more videos. So I'm sorry if you're a fan of that series, but it's probably gonna have to end while I process the rest of these. I'm gonna film some stuff later today so you guys can see what the toys look like close up and all the detail and all that, but it's gonna take a while. I'm sorry, the apartment's a mess. There's just boxes everywhere. We got pins all over tables, 
packing material, all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited to see. But yeah, I'm excited to see everything get shipped out and and all that. I wanted to try to bring all these packages plus whatever else I can pack up today um, to the post office and UPS. But it's a lot of them so far. This so is like 13 packages. I think I have like 40 more to do. So it's gonna be intense. And if you did a pre-order on the website, your package will be in this first drop off as well. So going out as fast as they can, all the stuff for Europe, New Zealand, Germany, is gonna be shipped after the holidays so I can get a better rate to ship it to you guys and it'll get to you faster. And it's less likely to get lost just some advice someone gave me to do that so that during the holiday season it's a lot easier for stuff to get lost so just after the holiday season uh probably like the first week of january those are gonna those are gonna ship out but yeah let's get into showing with the guys let's get into showing you guys what the toys look like Got the rest of them today? All right. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's the last six crates. All right, so 
Gotta get all this stuff to the post office. I don't have a car. Luckily, it's only a few blocks away, but there's so much ice outside. It's gonna be a real pain to move all this stuff. All right, let's get to it. What's up, guys? So I want to do a little recording at the end of this video while I'm doing the product turnarounds of the boxes and of the toys themselves. Uh, just kind of explaining what's been going on in the last month and why I haven't been producing as much YouTube content and other content on Instagram. And it's really only mainly been, uh, I don't know, probably a couple weeks that it's been a problem. But uh, I've been really sick. And it's also the winter time here on the East Coast. And it's, you know, it's super difficult to find work as a freelancer this time of year. Most people's budgets are done until, you know, the new year so been dealing with that and kind of struggling a little bit <clears throat> got to sell some pieces on instagram so for everyone who bought a piece thank you it's been super helpful uh but yeah we kind of want to go over the toy a little bit more uh than i was able to do in the video because those are just some short clips but got the toy here obviously uh sent out all the kickstarter stuff i can send out currently and I have plenty of others left over for people who want to buy them and for independent collectors and customizers and all that. I uh, just want to go over the packaging design because a few people have asked why <clears throat> the blisters have a space for one of the, co the other parts. Like say if you bought a boomer, right, like they have the fuse spot there but they're on the figure itself. Or if you bought a doomer, right, you get the doomer and the plastic blister has a space for the boomer fuse and that was actually on purpose that was a design idea in the packaging to reduce the amount of plastic and cardboard needed to send the top separately so that's why they look like that um just wanted to clear that up because a few people have asked so yeah that's why I wanted to reduce my plastic footprint you know I, it's not the best thing having to make these out of vinyl and, and whatnot but it's a material that's not necessarily uh, the best but it can be recycled easily and stuff like that and that's why toy designers work with it it's a material that can be used again and again and again so i wanted to reduce the the plastic footprint in the packaging and reduce the scale of the packaging itself because if i were to pack them all individually and ship them it's not as you know environmentally friendly to do that so that's why that's been going on uh and kind of wanted to just say thank you to everyone that's been with me on the youtube journey the past couple months from when i started it's been absolutely crazy i never thought i'd be here i just recently broke 300 subs uh just made it over i think 1100 followers on instagram so that's absolutely wild i never thought that would happen at all so Super thankful, guys. It's been a fun year. I'm looking forward to 2020, and I'm looking forward to doing more projects and videos. Uh, as my situation improves, hopefully I'll be able to find a workspace where I can actually make the things I was making before. Or, you know, make new things. I'm just excited to start a new year, honestly, and just start over. And, I don't know, just like do... A lot of other things I've been wanting to do but haven't had the time to do it so yeah that's sort of gonna do it for this video um, as always thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe and let me know out of all the colorways and between boomer and doomer what's your favorite you know I want to know the uh, Kickstarter one on the like, Kickstarter colorway specifically for both boomer and doomer has been really popular mainly because it's a super bright green but uh i mean it's definitely my favorite <laughs> I, i'm definitely a huge fan and I, I like boomer more than i like doomer i think the little like you know the grenade top is cool and i definitely designed to have a lot of cool materials and stuff with injection molding vinyl and then the metal pins but boomer's just cute right like look at this dude he's solid doomer's super cool though it's definitely more of a rugged look um but let me know which one you guys like more. I definitely want to hear it in the comments below. All right, so that's going to do it for real this time. Wolf Pits out. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.